Good morning. You're listening to FortDaily.net, and I'm Kim Parr. This morning, my guest is Rob Starr, the Director of Marketing with StarNet. Rob, how you doing? Doing great, Kim. Thank you for having me today. Yeah, it's good to talk to you. Yesterday, you had a virtual event to announce the StarNet Design Awards. I wanted to talk to you about that. First, though, background on you. You've been with StarNet for about six years, maybe a little more. And prior to that, you've got background in both um, ad agency and in the publishing firm, right? Yes, that's correct, Kent. I've been with StarNet for six years. I'm Director of Marketing and Member Services. Prior to StarNet, I did work for an advertising agency that ironically supported StarNet and many other marketing initiatives. Okay. All right. Unfortunately, StarNet couldn't have their annual meeting. This is usually a big deal. How many years has this been going on now? For StarNet. We are now in our 22nd year for the StarNet Design Awards camp. Um, annually, it recognizes the best of the best in the commercial interiors uh-huh. and really the importance for employees in the overall space. During our annual meeting, we would have an award celebration gala event with approximately 800 people in presence as yeah. we would announce the winners. Yeah, it's a big event. It's a cocktail party, it's an award celebration, and then a fancy dinner, and it's coat and tie required. It's a big deal. It's unfortunate you couldn't have your event this year. It was scheduled for Amelia Island, so you did it through a virtual event yesterday, and you were telling me that you had uh, over 300 participants on a webinar, right? Yes, it was unfortunate that we could not be physically together, but we did feel it was very important to celebrate the outstanding accomplishments of the StarNet membership during a virtual event. Yeah. L- little known fact, the StarNet Design Awards, you say 22 years ago, so what happened was Lori Dowling was running the organization then, and she got some board members and invited Frank O'Neill, who was the person I bought Floor Focus from, and out of that meeting was born the StarNet Design Award. Just another little nuance about it, the StarNet members submit what they think will win. It honors not only the members for great work, because uh, if you look at the pictures, which, by the way, we're featuring in our June issue, if you look at the work, it's always very intricate installation work. And it honors the members, but it also honors the design firms that worked and designed the projects, and it also honors the vendors that supplied the products, right? Yes, that's correct. StarNet is a partnership, and the StarNet Design Awards is one of our most valuable programs to really visually showcase the talents of not only our foreign contractor network to produce some of the finest work in the industry, but also the quality and innovation of our StarNet preferred vendor products and the creative vision of the architect and design community. Mm -hmm. The combined partnership between our members, vendors, and designers is really what makes the awards possible. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's go through the winners real quick. I know you give multiple layers. You give bronze, silver, and gold. Let's just talk about the gold. The grand prize winner this year was a project called Park Elementary School. The member was Cornerstone Commercial Flooring. Their architectural firm was Coleman Partners. It was an education project that also won the grand prize, right? Yes, that's correct. It was an outstanding project. The corporate winner was submitted by Resource Colorado. The project was the Idea Garage called Studio B2SJ and the architectural firm B2SJ. So I guess it was the architectural firm's offices, right? Yes, it was exciting to see Resource Colorado, who often partners with the architectural firm on other projects, that actually their project was the winner in the corporate category. Yeah, how many entries did you have this year? It was over 100, wasn't it? Yes, we had 114 entries. Uh We presented 21 awards, and what was exciting this year, we did have two new members that recently joined StarNet, enter, and win this year. How about that? All right, so the gold winner for health care, the member is H.J. Martin and Son. The project was St. Vincent Children's Hospital Patriotic Emergency Center. The architectural firms was Burns Schober. Then you have a hospitality public space. I think it's interesting who won this one. It's one of the major flooring companies' showroom in New York. The member who submitted it was Consolidated Carpet, Dave Meberg's company. The architectural firm was Huntsman Architectural Group. Yeah, it was another outstanding project with our StarNet preferred vendor, Turquette, and their showroom in Manhattan. Personally, the, the staff and I did have the opportunity to have a meeting in, in the showroom, and it's just a beautiful space showcasing their vast array of flooring 
products. Yeah, it's amazing what a flooring company can do with their own showroom. Uh, the unique installation, that's a category. The member who submitted was Century Floor Space. The project was St. Stephen Catholic Church and the architectural firm David Maleka Architect. And that was a ceramic tile project, and they had to fly that flooring in, I understand. Yeah, it was meticulous. The unique installation challenge category is one of the fan favorites of the StarNet membership. Yes. It really highlights the expertise of the installation. It was a time-consuming church renovation. There's many obstacles that the StarNet member had to face to achieve outstanding results with that project. Mm-hmm. All right, the winner of the mixed-use development project was DCO Commercial Floors. That's the member. The project was called the Olender, and the architectural firm was Dwell Design Studio. And finally, you've got a People's Choice Award. Floor Systems and Design was the member. The project was the Nationwide Children's Behavioral Health Pavilion, and the architectural firm was NBBJ. Real quick uh, call-out, too, to your judges. You had four judges, Tracy Hertzer. C.T. Noy. You had Jane Rohde, and you had John McGrath, who's with Install. An exceptional help, and it's always a rewarding experience with the, working with these talented judges. Well, hopefully the 23rd Annual Design Awards will be back to the normal, the next meeting place, right? That would be correct, and we are planning on it. We are now accepting entries in the 2021 StarNet Design Awards. All right. Rob's great to talk to you. Give me talking to Rob Starr about StarNet's Design Awards. He's Director of Marketing, and you've been listening to Kemp R and FloorDaily.net.